Hello everyone. Now this is one seeded uh, real case study for one DFO user in Australia. We can see this is the SN number and the, this is a family uh, Rosewood A5. Now uh, we can see this is one undetected Seagate hard drive. And when we go to the COM terminal, we can find out its LED status. Now that means we cannot do anything right now. So um, users have written the unlock ROM and, and we send unlock key to unlock the firmware error. And here we have also backup the SYS uh, 35. This is engineer's backup. So before we enter the LED status, we have done this one. Uh, now we need to power off the pension drive and then power on it again because the drive enters LED. So we cannot do anything except the power uh, off. So we send unlock key. Uh, now we can try to view the entry list to see the entries. So there are totally two entries. So we can try to clear the G list first, and then we can uh, regenerate the translator here. Before we doing this one, we need to back up the engineers to here. And then we need to remember there are totally two entries within the engine list. So now we need to wait until the translator regeneration completes. This drive is very unstable uh, because once users try to read or write the firmware error and this drive may enter the LED status. So uh, when we try to back up something or when we try to execute these commands, we need to use the most important commands first to uh, end the status of the LED and then we can continue. Now we are regenerating the transmitter and this can help to fix the LED issue after the transmitter regeneration. Okay, now we can see the translator regeneration completes and we can try to use before zero. Now we can see there are many new entries. So at this time, we need to uh, re-enter the program.
Now let's see if the drive is detected now or not. Okay, so the drive is detected. That's the data error can be partially accessed. So we can try to check the data error and we check the ending part. The same length but the smaller LBA value. Click OK. Now we click OK. This drive has been fully accessible. So we can try uh, within the hex. We can try to read this LBA zero. So this is SATA 1. We can try uh, to check within the DFLDDP. SATA 1. Click DDP. Hex view. Get ID information. Now we can see the 55AA. Uh, partition mark. Now we can try to check the file, the partition here. So all the data, this is, this is the last data here. So this is the next. So users can select all the wanted folders and files and then right click to recover them